Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, your favorite Sausage Sleuth, Joe. Welcome to a brand new Nancy Drew Let's Play series. This is Nancy Drew, The Message in The Haunted Mansion. Both thes are capitalized. Um, and that means a lot to me. We're going to start playing this game that I've never played before in my entire life. Life. Nancy Drew. See it, the Welcome voices. So we were doing some audio leveling before that started. The voices are like up and down in this game. Okay, y'all know we're junior detectives, so we don't need to do that whole charade. So that that if I mean as an outside. Oh, that that window turned on. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. San Francisco. It's full of old Chinese furnishings. Some interesting <laughs> she mystics. said, you'd love this room. It's Rose full of Green old things. Of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend. Oh, Abby my God. This is going to be so gay. I love renovation smart. work. But from what I gathered, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. I've never renovated anything. The renovations, they've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck? Or is there something oh, more I'm bringing the sage. Work? I'm sure I'll I'm bringing the sage. Love, Nancy. So, you know we're dealing with rich people because they bought a house in... Oh, my God. And this is the house in San Francisco? Okay, rich. So, I own a key. I can click that. It's 8 a.m. Can I go back to bed? You know, if there's one thing that can be said... About the wallpaper, about, you know, the decor in Nancy Drew games. No one would ever be able to call it subtle. You know? I don't think these things would ever be called subtle. Alright, let's take a look. Looks like my, my Vera Bradley luggage. Oh. Nancy Drew would lock her luggage. Oh my god, does that say ND? And she has her own, like, she either has her own clothing line... Or she has someone sew her initials into all of her clothes. Accidents. Why so many? <laughs> so this is one of the earlier games, which means we don't have a to-do list in this one either. House. Chinese slash antique decorations. Okay. Um, Who's who? Rose. Owner of the house. All right, we got it. What was I? I was about to tell y'all a story about something. Y'all know I spent four months in San Francisco, and that's when I was going through my Subway Flatiza phase. Oh, God, what is this jewelry? But there was something else I was going to tell you. What did Nancy say that reminded me of something going on in my life? Well, this doesn't really have a back button either. Oh, no, it does. First one you ever played, too. There you go. We can get close up on some of these objects, it seems. Dragon. Another drag. Oh! Daughters of Diligence earned the gold of nine dragons. Oh, that's like in the Hobbit. I saw the Hobbit. I think I even read the book. I think I even read the book. Yes. Do you know how many people tagged me in that TikTok where they talk about subway, having a subway phase equals depression? Like, I could have told you that. But also, that many of y'all didn't need to tag me in it. <laughs> I know about the depression. That many of y'all didn't need to tag me in it. <laughs> okay, let's click. I don't know who it is who posted it. Y'all always, listen, y'all always tag me on TikToks that are like, um, Depression or Hillary Duff. This is like when I went to sleep in the last one. Wait, can I go back to sleep? <laughs> the first thing you can go back to sleep. Oh, that alarm sound triggered me. That just... Who just said hello, Nancy? Did she just say it to herself? Is someone in my room? <laughs> no! I went back to sleep. We went back to sleep. 
Oh, is this this is what she was reading on that page? Dreams, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are she just left twenty four hours. When the four sided box loses its border. Oh wait, I need to get my notebook out. Hold on. In your hand, when the bird of I know for a fact I'm gonna need to write stuff down because I'm already seeing words that are highlighted and or bolded. Words such as child, beginning, daughters. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm got it under control. I've even got a pencil. I've got a pen even, because I don't make mistakes. I've got my earbuds in the wrong ear. Yeah, see, only gold is highlighted, not golden. No, no, no. Very suspicious. Alright, did I look at everything in my... Oh! Those dragons are touching butts. That's how I used to... <laughs> it's, we're already starting. That's how I used to think... That's how I used to... How I used to thought... People did it. Was that when I was... Young and I didn't understand things... I thought people just rubbed their butts together. I thought that was, was how it worked. Did anyone else think that? And then someone told me, and I was like, oh, that makes a little more sense, but still not a lot of sense. Turn up the game volume? We sure can. You think, um, oop. Oh, yeah, it can work that way, totally. I thought, but I specifically, Listen, child, this story of dreams, as a homosexual, you know I thought that's how uh, gay men had, was doing it. We've already derailed, haven't we? It's pretty quiet. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. It's saying the voices you know the are, is we'll just bump it. Than it hey, y'all let me know how that is. No, I <laughs> yeah. That's how Tamagotchis do it. I was just, I just got confused with Tamagotchis when I was younger. Am I just, did they just give me like free reign around the whole mansion? Was that a little loud? That sounded a little loud. Oh, see, you thought that too? See? Wait, am I back in my room? <laughs> what happened? This place is haunted. That's my room again. Oh, and I can't turn back. All right. Chat, something's going on in this mansion. <laughs> I think it's just me who keeps turning around. I'm trying to click on the doors on the side. Oh, I know what this is called. This is called a dumb waiter. Is the haunted part that you always end up back in Nancy's room? Oh. Hello, Nancy. I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? She's an automaton. She's a robot. I already know the plot. The house must have quite a history. I'm going to turn the sound... Of oh, I'm stuck in this box. I can't wait. Last night you mentioned some accidents. I can't wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started a turtleneck under a V-neck sweater. But then the scaffolding collapsed. And just last week we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. Not another I gas leak in a Nancy a game. Any accidents. I don't know if I could say this in good faith. You've done a terrific job with the renovation. <laughs> ah! 
Maybe renovate your wardrobe. I can understand your frustration. Maybe once we Rose. deal with this, we you can work on renovating your wardrobe. One. I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations, but his rates are so affordable. Oh, I she's trying to get a budget. Wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the Oh, floor. interesting. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm really? sorry for not hours. introducing you around, but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. You know whose house this reminds me of? This reminds me of, well, this reminds me of J.B. Fletcher's house on Murder, She Wrote. That's the vibes I'm getting. But, like, that's on the opposite side of the country. At napping. How to create a beautiful four-poster bed in ten easy steps. Am I going to have to build a bed? I'm not doing that. So, just so we're clear. Pre-cut. I'll insert a PVC elbow? Wait. What the hell kind of bed is this? Wood doweling. I just don't think... I don't think this is how beds work. My next sub goal is going to be building a twin size four poster bed. <laughs> oh shit, how do I get out of this? Oh, okay. So puzzles in the corner, but first everyone's schedule. Oh, this, would, this part would be this part. Good to write down, I bet. Lewis? I'm gonna be doing a lot of sleeping in this game, aren't I? Can we get a running count of how many hours I've slept so far? What if... What if it takes Nancy a full year to solve this mystery? What if she has a birthday year? I knew that. I knew that, Lydia, because every time we... I was... We watched Murder, She Wrote... And I would watch. I would look up like where the episodes were filmed and stuff. It's wild. And the sun sets on the wrong side of the ocean in the in the show. Out from three to six a.m. or p.m. We don't know. Should have been more specific. That's a beautiful tea set. <laughs> Not the random human picture. Rose Green, I've amended your fire insurance policy. Oh, fire insurance. So she took out. She just joked about burning the place down, but she also took out fire insurance. Now I will I will go ahead and tell you for one million dollars. In San Francisco, this house is considerably more than that. So, she would not actually be breaking even if she burned it down. So, I don't think she's sabotaging her own house. Based on how much money she would get thus far, it leads me to believe she's not the one sabotaging. Knowing the prices of things. Oh, this is tangrams. She couldn't figure out tangrams? Do y'all even know who I am? Because when I tell you that I'm the tan gram queen, nobody can take me when it comes to tan grams. We found this out in another one. She's about to find it out right now. So one of them clearly has to go here. What an interesting wood pattern for your floor. I love original hardwoods, but I just don't really know what this is. I've already fucked up because the square's got to go. The square can't go anywhere else. So we got to find... We should be doing the big pieces first. Rookie mistake. Rookie tangram mistake. Rookie tangram mistake class. Tangrams. 
These are the kinds of puzzles I want in my Nancy Drew games. Simple. Even a master dum-dum like me Ooh. can sort this out. Oh no, that's it. I did it. I don't think these are snapping into place. Nope, these ones have to be like highlighted, don't they? Are you telling me? If I, are you te I can't have gaps? Then, then they should have made them fucking snap in place, is that? Oh! Then they should have fucking made them snap in place if you can't have gaps. Okay, so we'll have to just nudge them slightly until there's no gaps. This is the dumbest. How do I make that gap go away? This is hateful. This is hateful. Oh my god. Does that count as a gap? Oh my god. How are you supposed to have no gaps? This puzzle is notorious for being glitchy with the gaps. The old games had some hiccups. Well, I have it in the I have everything in the right places. It's just a matter of the gaps, huh? Oh, as they say on the UK Metro, haha, <laughs> mind the gap. Mind the ga gap gap. Uh, man, fuck this, especially. <laughs> this is so bad. Why would they do this? Oh my god. How is that possible for that to line up, though? So I would need to line this one up with, like, the corner, essentially. There are gonna be gaps. This is so hateful. I guess gaps can be like that. I'm assuming gaps are like that. That's fine. That's fine. I said so and because it's fine. How is this one not clicking? This is so hateful. All of a sudden. That one's not clicking. This is actually bullying. This is actually bullying. If you ever wanted a definition, that is not fine. This puzzle used to be worse. They had to... They, this is the puzzle after they patched it? Are you shitting me? You think the square should go here? Oh, okay. Yeah, that might... That is good. That's good. And so then... Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with... Oh. Why won't it let me turn this? <laughs> this fits here? But they won't let me put it there. Is that okay? That has to go up there, though, doesn't it? I had him. Oh, I guess I can still do this.
This one is not showing it snap into place. Is that an issue? That it, it like, is kind of claiming it doesn't fit there? You need it to be highlighted and there can be no get. My God. Are you... I shouldn't have picked this one up. Oh. Okay. Those three are done. Does the wood grain have to match up? I didn't do that. I don't have enough coffee for this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to turn my mouse DP DPI to like zero. I think there's gonna be a gap there. Oh my god. Y'all really? This was, this, wait. So this was a, this was a lot of y'all's first Nancy Drew game and then you kept playing them? Do y'all hate yourselves? Chat? It was... There we go. Chat, do y'all hate yourselves? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Not so who wants to play Icicle Creek? Well, yes, we do hate ourselves. Did y'all have a subway phase? Raise your hand if you had a subway phase. Um, I do have a question. This is, I know what this is. This is Stockholm Syndrome. This is rose-colored glasses. This is some rose-colored glasses bullshit y'all are looking at this in, right? Y'all, y'all weren't, y'all weren't old enough to know about taxes when you played this game, right? We played this, no, we played this while eating Subway. Get out. This was your subway phase. Oh my god. There we go. It's this one is too low. Oh my god. I did it. If I were flipping this house... Oh, that is so fucking ugly, Nancy. How's that inlay puzzle coming along? I finished Why does it give me the option to say I didn't finish it when I finished it? For you. I set up a ladder upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel. Wait, I'm working here? Job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. I need to start keeping my own to-do list. Grape stealing. You're kidding me. Is she gonna? This place is full of asbestos. It's probably lead paint, sis. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. So long. I'm here to work. I thought I was. I'm helping and investigating. I'm wait. I'm not getting paid though, am I? We're definitely not working for money. Nobody ever pays Nancy. It's always internships. Can we sniff the paint? We couldn't. It wouldn't let me. I want Nancy to be super rude. I want her to be like, Oh, this place is gonna look so nice when it's done. It's so fucking ugly right now. I want her to look around and be like, Oh, this place is horrible. It's gonna be so nice 
when you're done with it and she spent all this work already doing it, that's what I want Nancy to be like. <laughs> oh, this place will look lovely whenever you finally start work on it. Safe so I don't have to do the puzzle again. All right, good idea. Yeah, that is what final scene Nancy would say. And then she'd throw a brick at your face. Not already the creepy basement. Is this a saloon? I saw the man, don't worry. I think he's a ghost, though. It, this is called Message in a Haunted Mansion. I'm just expecting some ghosts. Citing the increased popularity of stage reviews and decreased charitable contributions, the ladies of stage selling us Nancy and says, eh, No longer will we do... Will the good ladies of our society hold garden parties, afternoon teas, or cakewalks? Act on stage like common... I don't know what that word is. Probadors in several popular plays in order to raise money. We should not allow the fair... Oh, oh, this is sexism. I know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. We should not allow the fair sex to denigrate themselves to this level of vulgarity. Women belong in the home, not upon the stage. Oh, it's sexism. Oh, oh, this is misogyny. Got it. Okay. Oh, oh, sexism and misogyny. Yeah, Beyondre, we were just talking about Tamagotchi right before the stream started. All we really need to do is find... It's stuck. It's stuck. We need to find the gay-coded character, because they're the ones who did it. <laughs> that's what Nancy, that's what Nancy Drew said. I'm assuming that's going to unlock something at a later time. Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Nice to meet you, Rose and Abby. Really? Hi, Charlie. You must have a lot of experience. Rose told me there's been a lot of accidents. What do you think is... Yeah, Rose that's good. That there have been a lot of accidents lately. What do you Why think is his shirt so wrinkled? I have no idea. People are blaming me. But that's it's Ned's voice? Fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose is looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. I already talked to her. She wants me to scrape the ceiling. This is weird. Hey, Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. I came all the way from the Midwest or wherever I live. Bed and breakfast. Oh, look, it's a full house house. What are they called? The, the, um, Painted Ladies? The Bay Area has experienced an increase in the number of registered bed and breakfasts. According to Betsy Hamilton. Oh, so maybe they're getting sabotaged by a rival bed and breakfast. Because she wants to turn this into a bed and breakfast? I was, um, I got drunk in that full house park once while I was there. Just like... A little bit tipsy. Oh. <laughs> it's Ned in disguise. And then eventually he's like, Why won't you call me back, Nancy? Oh, God. How are the tiles coming along? I'm still working on them. Don't you think there'd hard. be something for me to lie and say that I finished it? Because I feel like I should be able to lie. I turned around again. And you would have thought that would have been the exit door, but that was not the exit door. Oh, I hear a clock. Clock means haunted. Subterranean San Francisco. Explore the hidden world. They were doing tours of that. I never did it. I don't want to... I don't go underground and I don't go in the ocean. 
That's just not me. That's just not who I am. <laughs> well, yeah, I was tipsy, tipsy for me. Well, drunk for me, but tipsy to someone else. Few people know the fascinating world below the streets of San Francisco. A myriad of strange and mysterious sights. City spelunking. Old mines. Abandoned utility tunnels. Secret rooms. Old wells and cisterns. A good light source. Something, something. San Francisco has gone through many changes. That's how cities work. Yep. That's how they work. A spider web. They have th they have this wonderful mansion, and they can't even clear away the cobwebs. Now my house, you expected to have spider webs. That was a siren. That was literally a, that was either that was either the fucking Golden Gate Bridge foghorn or a siren. Is that supposed to be a haunted? I think rich people are scared too easily. That's what I think. Oh. I thought I was trying to click this table, but I guess that goes back there. The controls are confusing because there's no go forward arrow in this. There's only like, um, that. This magnifying glass. 1894. List of subscribers. So maybe that's supposed to tell me who lived here? I don't know, remember the address. Your bid for the auction... Oh, we're at 4653 California Lane. Has been accepted. 1906! I don't understand that. That's a, that's a bunch of legal stuff. That, I don't understand that. Um, it hasn't been scary so far. So far, it's been a spooky voice or a spooky thing that was actually just nothing. It won't fit. What's she trying to put it there? Won't fit. It won't fit. What's she trying to it stick in there? <laughs> Wait a minute. What the hell is she doing? Oh, snooping on someone's computer. That's the move. Oh my god, I have a... I have a chess trophy. Lessons in chess. The night, the night, and like... Uh, oh, pff, you don't tell me this. I have a chess trophy. I have a chess trophy. In fact, I might have it here. I'm not entirely sure. Next episode, remind me to get out my chess trophy. What kind of high quality motherfucking bullshit Golden 007 nonsense is in this fucking game? What kind of Windows 95 screensaver motherfucking high ass graphic? 2000 years ago, Nancy Drew games, we could walk in 3D apparently. And they didn't, they didn't decide to put the entire game this way. What kind of, what kind of, press M for a map. Wait, who the fuck puts a map in a labyrinth? That's not... That's not how labyrinths work. Why would you put a... Why would you put a maze... That's not how mazes work. Apparently, I don't know left from right on this fucking map. That's a dead... No. What the actual hell is going on today? This is not a, the game I was playing.
I hate this. Left is right and right is left or something like that. Because it's not going the way... I'm, I pride myself in map reading. And I w you would think I would need to turn left here. But that's leading me back up. And you would think I would turn right here, but it's going to be actually... No, it is right. Well, fuck me. Did I go that... No, I'm still going the right way. You would think I would turn left here, but there's no left. You would think I would turn right here, and you'd be wrong. This is a whole bunch of nonsense. There better be a dead body at the end of this. Is that the wrong? That's the wrong way. Yeah, the music is very intense. I do appreciate it, though. It's nice to have not, like, sometimes Nancy Drew games just go silent. Oh, I found out where they peed. San Francisco City Guide, 1888. Should I take a picture of this? I'll take a picture of it. I just hacked it. Y'all didn't think I was capable of it, but I just hacked it into the mainframe. That's how they hacked it in Jurassic Park. How do you close a... Oh. This is all of their passwords? Into their storage unit? Have you ever heard of a fucking password protector program? Good God. So I can use CD-ROMs, maybe. Oh, when I find them. Let's see what he put in his trash. It's just gay porn. It's just... For, guess someone forgot to empty their recycle bin. So, I'm assuming at some point I'll get, like, a login that is, like, I don't have to do the fucking maze every time. Is this Mahjong? When the four-sided box loses its border... Was that in the rhyme? The maze! It was just... The password was on the left. Oh. Oh. Antiques. Password is antiques. But what was the... What's the login? Or did it just need a password? That's wild. Don't worry. We got it. Don't worry. We got it. This must be... um. Well, I don't know whose office this is. Firebird, also known as a firebird, including Chinese, Arabic, and American Indian. The bird builds a great nest and sets it on fire. Oh, the phoenix, though, the pohenix. Books. We love a labeling system. She's really into poetry. She really is. A fainting couch. See, clicking on things just never really leads where I think it's going to lead. I think I want to go back out to the main hall. See, and that's not where I thought. I'm going to get lost in this one, that's for sure. And that's okay. Lose yourself in a video game. A pohenic. Is that the front door? 4653. I think I wrote that down. No. I love, let me tell you. In St. Louis, a lot of the little gingerbread, 4653. A lot of the little like gingerbread type houses will have like stained glass windows on the sides and stuff. Oh my God, I love them. Oh my God. I want stained glass. I want some stained glass, like, window hangers. 
The ones with the suction cups? Real fancy stuff. Suction cups. How long have I been snooping? Oh my god! I've been snooping around this place eight, six, seven hours? I see you. Did you hear that? There was just a ghostly voice that said, I see you. And I really... Wait, was someone behind me? No. I feel seen, though. I have to say, it was kind of reassuring, because I feel very seen. <laughs> I feel seen. I wasn't feeling very seen today, and now I feel seen. I do see this. Oh, something tells me I should save the game. <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be the type of thing that, uh, falls and it, they kick me out of their house. Oh, I didn't mean to click second chance. Whoops. No, whoops. Oh! Um, I unhooked the chandelier and it crashed to the floor. I can't believe it. No wonder Rose no! asked you to leave. I don't know what got into me. Sounds like you really goofed up. Just don't vandalize the next house you stay in, okay? Especially if it's ours. <gasps> Should I do it again? I'm not known as someone who learns from their mistakes. Hmm. I need a paint scraper. Not the piss on the ceiling. All that piss on the ceiling. That's going to be hard to get out. Wait, where did she say the paint scraper was? Am I the drama? What does she think she's going to do with... That was literally the pipes rattling in the walls. Do y'all even know how old this house is? Very old. That was literally pipes rattling in the walls. Oh, she just said to find it? Let's see if it's with this stuff. I can only think that that one guy might have it. I should... I should touch the electrical outlet. I don't know. Something to think about. Where's that sexy voice whispering in my ears? He was... I think he was in here. Let's see if there's a paint scraper. I feel like, oh yeah, when does he hey, leave? Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. Man, it's just not all about you. Let's see what time he leaves. What's that, Charlie? 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right. We'll just wait till he's gone, right? I am a little... I'm supposed to be louder than the game. Am I too much louder than the game? I usually try to make myself louder than the game. Hello, fellow sausage sleuth. Wait, do we ever see Ned? Do we literally ever see Ned? Aside from like... Wait, do we even see Ned in Midnight in Salem? We never see Ned. Very interesting. How are the tiles coming along? I'm still working on them. Don't work too hard. More of a concept than a person? Oh yeah, we do see the phone thumbnails. I think... 
I think he's catfishing Nancy. I think they've never met. We don't actually have proof of them ever meeting. Just by the way. I think that Nancy is being catfished by Ned. Oh my god. Ah, I'm trying to leave. My favorite Nancy Drew game plot. Oh, I mean, what what can you say wrong about the that's the door I want. What can you say wrong about Manette and her ta face tattoo? Oh, this is somewhere new. Oh, I feel a presence in this room. I feel God in this chilies tonight. Mastering the art of illusion. Here we go with the fonts again. Of all the spiritualists in the turn of century, none was as famous as Madame Aretgny, noted for her spider sapphire bracelets and heavy Russian accent. Revealed her secrets, great atmosphere of illusion. Must be aware of something over the audience. Always establish an aura of intrigue. That's just like natural to me. I'm just a very like... Like, people say that about me, you know? I'm just a very mysterious person. <laughs> people have said that about me. I'm just very, like, mysterious. Did she just get really mad and punch that open? Oh, this is a... It's a two-way mirror! That's also... That's some Zodiac stuff. I feel really betrayed by y'all right now. That's some Zodiac garbage. Not the random real- Oh, <gasps> the tarot cards! Sort of. <gasps> Half Moon Joe! Fortune tailing, tailing for business popularity. Her interactive publishing? Wait, what? Is this a real book? Were they trying to sell a real book? Promote it. Why can't I go through any of these people's stuff? Oh. <laughs> Not another real picture. Moon incense. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays. Not some kid's like elementary school picture. Oh my god. Please help me. Thank you. Oh, interesting. I wish I could, like, steal some of the- Ooh! Ooh! Palm reading stuff. Not the real person and the fake person. Are they both fake? I can't even tell anymore. The zo- Ugh! The Chinese tradition. The Chinese horoscope. Oh, okay. This, like- Oh, this is like the Fruits Basket manga. <laughs> oh, this is the Fruits Basket manga. Named by Buddha, before he departed from Earth, he summoned all the animals, but only 12 came. Oh, that's rude. As a reward, he named a year after each one in the order they arrived. What if... I think I'm a rab... I'm a rabbit. I was born in 88, but I was born before the Chinese New Year. We, I've told y'all this story a million times. I thought I was a dragon, and it turns out I'm a rabbit. If you know the story, you know. If you know, you know. I still think we should look in that grate. I think we should... Can I sleep in someone else's room? That would make me so dizzy. I'm seeing hair care products, a mirror. What do I care about this? Old West Romances. Mary Oaks and Tennessee Sam. 
Lizzie Applegate and the Bandit. Is that a hint at like an upcoming game? No, <laughs> the random pilot. Oh my gosh, she's this whoever's room this is, they got a half moon Joe exclusive. They were able to get a half moon Joe exclusive tablecloth. Something's missing here. Something's missing here. All right, got it. Definitely we need something there, and something is something has been missing right there. Now I'm interested in this stuff. We got crystal ball. We got Jack. Is this Jack in the box? We got Jack in the box. Nancy just robs everybody. Something's missing here. Something's missing here. What? Jewelry? Oh my God! Does she got she's got some Enya CDs? She puts on her Enya CDs. Takes two puff puffs. <laughs> takes two puff puffs of the vape pen. Looks into the crystal ball and really makes an evening of it. And really turns it out. Oh, that's the CD from the previous game? So someone can see through that mirror. Two puff puffs of a cinnamon flavored vape gets fully turned, spun, and twisted. Nancy does like to slam doors. Oh, whoa, whoa, what time is it? Oh, he's off of work. Let's go steal his tools. That's, I mean, if I'm being honest, that's the only thing I, that's the only thought in my head right now is stealing. I don't know what else I'm, I'd be able to do. Did I turn around? I really need the directional arrows. I really miss them. I'm not really getting lost in this one, shockingly. Swanee River. <gasps> Is this what I'm supposed to play? Way down upon the Swanee River. 40 cents? Someone broke the bank. How do I play that song? I guess that's only time will tell. I guess that's only time will tell because it won't let me actually look at the music. I'm assuming I'm going to have to play that in order to, uh... It's stuck. Not this again. In order to open that, I'll have to play that Swanee River song. Click on the mute... The center of the music? Oh, thank you. I would have never done it. And hidden beneath a river of... Glass. God, it really does. <laughs> thank you. Is this a song I'm supposed to know? Because now I don't see any. Oh, she's still saying shit from the poem. And hidden beneath a river of colors. That's all it... Oh, okay. Well. Well. It's, it's nice for Nancy to make these connections, I guess. It's stuck. It's stuck. <laughs> Try my suitcase, suitcase key for everything. I just think it's going to work out one of these times. It's just, it's just a severed head. And it really starts getting dark. That's, this is when Nancy Drew games really, they were, they used to be a lot darker. It's just a severed head. What time does what's his name? So we had Abby. Oh, Abby's gone. Well, it said Louis. Louis is here from noon to five, but I never found him. Not Ned. Not Ned's head. Y'all are dark. This has got to be. You've got to have a paint scraper. 
No, no. That's a, so that's a, that's a flathead screwdriver. You could technically p scrape paint with it, but you probably fuck something up. Oh, I can use this on the things that are stuck, maybe. Perfect. All right. Um, back to the fireplace, please. It's stuck. Yeah, that's what the it's stuck. Yeah, that's what the stuck. That's what the screwdrivers for Nancy it's is. Stuck. Okay. I can't do anything with that. <laughs> Why doesn't she try anything? How do I get out of here? Oh my god. The game won't even let me walk in a straight line. Okay, now it does. Wait a second. Can I open this with it? It's stuck. It's stuck. Yeah, these mansions are drafty. And what? And what? Am I, is someone trying to scare me? The rope is cut. Someone's trying to scare me. But I, but little do they know. I don't get scared. I stay scared. <laughs> ah! I don't get scared. I stay scared, mama. I want to go in that door. Is that not the door? I guess that's not the door. Is this the door? Oh, hey, girl. Oh, I'm still fuck off. I'm them. fine. Don't work too hard. If she really wanted me to do it, she would have told me where the paint scraper was. She would have looked for it herself. Yeah, why can't I go in all the doors? That just seems like bullying. That's bullying. Oh, that's the Pohenix. Oh, I'm gonna steal this fucking... Oh, okay. <laughs> I said, I'm going to pry that little jewel. They're not going to miss that. When I tell you they're not going to miss these little jewels, they're rich, rich. They don't give a shit. They can afford it. Now, what's the what's the deal with these? It's <gasps> missing an eye. Got it. All right. Well, this one had two eyes. You really only need the one. Louis's office was down there. Lou, is it Louis or Lewis? They're spelled the same. I don't necessarily agree with that, but that is the way. Oh, here's a paint scraper, maybe. Oh, oh! Nice work, me. Thank you, thank y'all. Don't y'all just look, I really appreciate, I really like, I really like being congratulated for doing the bare minimum. You say the S in it, so this one is Louis, Louis, Louis S. This would be his room one, is this, I don't really know whose office this is, I guess. Oh, Louis S. Oh, thank you for the posture check, by the way. Um, thank you, Monica. I needed it. I was slouching even in this chair. We'll pro we're probably gonna about to take a a little stretch break in a second, but maybe let's go get the tiles. Not Boois. She really, she really is a door slammer, isn't she? They're like, we keep hearing things in the mansion. And it's literally Nancy slamming a door every time she enters or exits a room. All right. Now the paint was upstairs. Wait, are there two floors or three floors? There's three floors, right? Is this my room? Oh my. God. There's two. Is there's two floors? There's two floors. Well, it, if, if you, unless you count the basement. There's a finished basement, honey. There's a saloon in the basement. 
What's the mystery? The mystery is just, uh, the- it's haunted. Good god, Nancy's good at this. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. I need to come- So, our bathroom's falling apart. I need to get Nancy over here, apparently, to do the scraping for me, because that would have taken me, like, days. Oh, we should go tell her now that it's done. If she's not in this door, is she... No, 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 that's that door. Excuse me. It's this door. Definitely water damage and definitely mold damage in this house. How are the tiles coming along? I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. A dead body. I'm sure it's very interesting. But unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. Where did Abby find that? How do you how did you find Charlie? Whose laptop is in the Whose library? Laptop is that in the library? Lewis leaves it here, but he doesn't like people to use it. He said he's had trouble with <laughs> well, lately. I definitely hacked into it. Where did Abby find those papers that are in the parlor? She told me they were in her room. Which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. So they were now, the planted. Room in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. How'd you find Charlie? Craigslist. How did you find Charlie? He just showed up one day. It was really odd. He just showed up? I remember Abby and I were in the basement talking about hiring someone to help us. 20 minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. I'm sorry, but they don't find that suspicious. The grinder. Misconnections. Craigslist misconnections. That's where they found him on misconnections. Which they don't do anymore, do they? Oh. So we haven't so we haven't met Abby and we haven't met Louis Lewis. No, wait, who's that that we just talked to? What's her name? I thought that was Abby. We don't know who that is? She, listen, well, she should be getting back. Oh, she, Abby should be back. Oh, that was Rose. Okay. Rose, that makes sense because that's what they said her name was. Oh, let's put a circle around that in my notebook. I'll just circle that in my notebook. That makes sense because they did say that that was her name. I think she's home. Is she home now? Oh, no. Hello, Nancy. I see you've arrived safely from your long journey. But I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can Not tell you're this. an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. And you do? And you do? I sense a very strong but restless spirit within these walls. And a restless spirit can soon become an angry spirit. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure, but for some reason the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. I'm more concerned that she doesn't have the, like, astrological insight to tell her the spirits. Why aren't the spirits telling her not to tuck in her card again? Who the hell does that? Oh, well, we've been in her room that she was she had the she had the fancy, uh, you know, tarot card room. You might want to listen to the spirits a little closer. They might tell you a little bit something about that lip color and the nails. Well, you'll be the first to know if I find a ghost floating over my bed. Do you dare mock the supernatural? Just bear in mind what I've told you about this place. Spirits of the deceased can do unimaginable harm, especially to those who don't believe. Now, if you will please excuse me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Um... She sounds busy. <laughs> She sounds good. Does this sound keep happening? Get me the hell out of here. We need, so now we need to find Louie. Says he's here from noon to five. I think I might go sleep until noon. Well, okay. We're going to take a stretch break real quick. And I also got to take a quick tinkle break. We'll be, and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we actually, um, back from the stretch break, we also addressed some audio issues we may have been experiencing where the audio, we're going to, we're going to talk about this right now. The audio filter, the noise suppression AI filter I was using was cutting off my laughs. 
my cackling, my screeching, <laughs> and I fixed it so it's not doing that anymore. And now the chat, now the chat's trying to suppress me again. They're trying to silence me. And y'all were trying, now y'all are trying to silence me. Name the company? It's the built-in filter. Not name the company. And I might have it, I might have it picking up too much. We got a new microphone, by the way. We talked about it before the chat, but I'll probably have to do some tweaking. Now, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to sleep until noon when I get to meet Lewis. If you don't mind, I'm going to sleep until noon. Wait. I hate that sound so much. Hey, she didn't say good morning to herself that time. Probably because it's already noon. She's got, when you're in the hotel and you got the blackout curtains. Yeah, yeah, we looked in, we found Nancy's journal. We used the key. When you're in that hotel, when you're traveling. Oh, was that him? I thought I saw a person, but maybe it was just trash. When you're in the hotel and the, you get the blackout curtains and you accidentally sleep until literally like 2 p.m., I'm not the only one sleeping until noon. Abby's asleep. It's noon. It's noon right now, and she's sleeping. I'm not the only one, haters. Am I still on this floor? Oh, okay. Okay. Wait, it's midnight? It said a.m., not p.m.? Oh, that's why she's sleeping, probably. Oh. <laughs> oh, did y'all hear that laugh? Did y'all hear that laugh? Did that laugh pick up? Did you hear the gaspy laugh? This playthrough series about to be as painful... Listen, that's my pet peeve is when people say something that I've done is painful to watch, okay? So we're not doing that. Well, how do I turn around? We had to go towards this stuff and then turn around. Oh, wait, my room's this way. You heard my gaspy, my gaspy laugh? After, after y'all complaining that y'all didn't like my gasp, that y'all couldn't hear my gaspy laugh, now y'all upset about my gaspy laugh. 1 a.m. That's not right. Just to be spiteful, I'm going to play that alarm sound a lot in this Let's Play series. Just to be spiteful. Oh, they wanted me to fix the dumb waiter. Oh, and the rope is cut. So she's meditating in her room, I think. Let's see if it's still cut. I wish there was like a doll hanging the from it. All right, let's go find, um, I will need to talk to Louie. Louis. Louis. Louie S. I'm gonna call him Louie. I don't think the game will just let me hang a doll from it. There he is. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Louis Chandler. He's an automaton, too. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. My name is Nancy Drew. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer. He's a, a friend of Judy. That Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only not Mitt Romney. To use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. An antique dealer. Okay. 
So they just literally let you use this library for... So you give them advice? Do you believe the house is haunted? Abby seems to think so. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. Do you think it's a ghost? What are you doing pooping in what this are you library? Using the library for? Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. What are you looking for in books? Nancy's really, let me tell you, we're really suspicious of anybody who reads. We don't want them to be too smart. What are you looking for in these books? I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment. And although I'd like to talk, I really don't have suspicious. the time. Please, excuse me. Very I'm suspicious. I'm sorry, but I really must finish my work. Perhaps Abby can assist you. Good day. So far, he's the only one who, who like, seems to be hiding something. Well, Rose too, but I think Rose just might hate me. Oh, here's these again. It won't fit. We don't know what the, Can we pry off these ones? It won't fit. No. What was the other thing she told me to do? Oh, fix the dumbwaiter. I forget so easily. Oh, how we forget so easily. He's a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we saw Abby already. We talked to Abby. Um... Is that supposed to be spooky? Because that's just someone's shadow. That's just how windows work. That's just windows 101. That's how they work. Hello. How do you know Louis you know S? Louis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property, but he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. Authentic decor. An antique. Last time it was an antique dealer, it was the antique dealer. Do y'all remember when Nancy went back to her hometown? How did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. River My Heights. The bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. What is Abby planning for tonight? She's putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. Tonight? I can see you're busy. I'll seance you tonight. Bye, oh, it was the reporter in that one? Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> I forgot who it was. Do they change their schedule every day? Or is it just always, it's always the same? Okay, got it. It wasn't him at all. Not me misremembering who does things in Nancy Drew games. Okay, that was the child. So it's 3653. I don't think it was. I. Whenever they make it too obvious, like she made a comment about, I'm going to burn down the place, blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. I'm glad they, like, maybe figured out where to put the arrows a little bit better in more modern Nancy Drew games. Because this is it's just awful. I don't think that... I don't think it's Rose. That's what I think so hey, far. Nancy, I really need to finish this up. Sorry. How am I, how am I supposed to find out who, who did it if I can't talk to anybody? I, I officially can't talk to any... Should I just go to... I think I'm just going to go to sleep until the seance. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, we'll see if Abby's awake yet. The spirits wish to speak to you, Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. What time? Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Please sit down. Oh, we it's happening. Have time for this. It's happening now. Let us begin. We are gathered Not here this. tonight. To contact the shades of those who have passed before us. 
gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? <gasps> that was me. Me after Ooh, one half Bud Light bottle getting fully turned and breaking all the glasses. We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. My wife. <laughs> the spirits have spoken. They were asking me to do that. I've never even seen that movie. Is over. I've never seen that movie. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games. <laughs> Oh, what else happened? I was too busy laughing at myself. Oh, wait, what happened? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I've never seen that movie, and I thought the phrase was "my back." And so, whenever Justin was tell would tell me he's gonna go ride his bike, I would say "my back." <laughs> Nothing happened. Rose just got annoyed. I loved every second of that. Well, I think the... Um... I think it's... I think we're good to leave the mansion. <laughs> um, I think we're done. I think we're good. I think we'll leave the mansion. Rose mentioned the house being on fire again. Oh, that is suspicious. Hmm. Uh, thank you for the posture check, hopeful rabbit. That is needed. Thank you. And we've got say say nice things about the chat. One from Casey and one from K Troxel. All right, Casey things and K Troxel. Here's your here's the nice things I'm saying about the chat. If y'all were in this haunt, haunted mansion. Y'all would not, y'all would, y'all would say, um, y'all would be the haunters, not the hauntee, haunted. Here's number two. Dear chat, if y'all were, why do I always start it with that, by the way? Dear chat, so Nancy does write in her notebook. Wait, secret, oh yeah, the secret attic. Dear chat. If y'all were a font, you would not be one of the fonts in Nancy Drew games. You would be a good font that I could actually read. Oh wow, we're really writing. I, why am I taking notes? Rose, million dollar insurance policy. But here's the tea though with that insurance policy. A, thousand, a million dollars does not even cover this house. This house in San Francisco? is worth like millions with a lot of s's so i don't i still don't think it was rose believes in ghosts valdez so i'm thinking valdez is an anagram which is where we rearrange rearrange the letters what oh when did the tamagotchi collection start um when I was 10 years old, and it lasted about three years, and then I took like a 20 year break. When I was 10 years, so when first Tamagotchis came out, is when I started collecting digi or virtual pets in general. Gave them all away as a child though, in my teenage years, and now I've started again. Uh, probably about four months ago. Three months ago, three months ago. Three months, three or four months ago. Three months ago. What are we talking about? Um, believes in God. Valdez. So, as an anagram, maybe it's called, maybe it says, maybe it says, Ladez? V? Maybe it says, oh, Zeldaz? I'm going to make a list of all the old school uh, virtual pets I used to have. Because I miss them. 
Also, by the way, oh my gosh, when is there a hop train? Voodoo Sparkle Juju, thank you so much. You ran a 50k? What's a 50k? Is that a 5k? Oh, that is awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for the bits. I'm glad it went well. Henry, thank you for the bits too. Uh, what? So, what has happened in this game? That mansion is haunted, and we gotta find out who did it. Essentially. Oh, he's got the hotel list on his laptop. Thank you so much, Henry. Mike Viv with the two months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what the hotel list would do, though. Why is that suspicious? Oh, maybe that means he doesn't live in San Francisco? What time is it? Is it 11 a.m. or p.m.? I guess I could have looked at the clock. Sound of woman crying. That's just me. <laughs> That's just me. That's just me, my Tamagotchi dad. That's just me, my Tamagotchi died. 31 miles? Oh my gosh, congratulations. That's, uh, I'm so sorry I diminished your, no, no, I didn't diminish it. I just don't know kilometers. That's freaking awesome, congratulations. 31 miles, that's huge. Listen, y'all know I'm here to support y'all and to root you on. to root from the sidelines where I belong. Legend? Leggings? Oh, this is what they were talking about earlier. Oh, they talked about this person in that other book. I'm, <laughs> I'm here to support y'all. Sometimes I'm just bad at it. Because <laughs> I don't know math. Sometimes I'm just bad at it because I don't know math. See, I forgot. I don't know if I don't know what I don't know what kilometers are. I think something's up with these stairs, y'all. They keep creaking. So the the is that Edgar Allan Poe? If the stairs on this side keep creaking, what does that mean? You'd think there'd be, like, something spooky about it. And this is the one where the ghost whispered to me. We should go ask about the seance. Oh, after I spiral on the stairs for a while. Y'all, why is this one of the messiest videos I've done in a long time? <laughs> I just... One side of the stairs creaks, the other's dead. Oh, it's something to note for later. Okay. Why does this... Why does this episode feel especially messy? Oh, she's dead. Oh, we can snoop through her stuff now. That's good. To-do list. Pay the bills. Transfer money to checking. Order paints for shutters. Color... Measure windows for blinds, replace lost tiles, the fireplace, refinish kitchen cabinet, Santa plush hall with floors, get estimate for roof fix, call chimney cleaner, repair dumb waiter. She's making me do that. Not the her interactive mug. Homeowner's insurance account. Stolen roofing materials, vandalism. Do I owe this? It says payment due date, but it has a dollar sign. We don't have dollar signs in our dates. A list of damages reported to the property. Ch 
Chandler Interiors. It was a pleasure to meet you and Abby. As we have discussed, I'm interested in examining the collection of books. My research of Victorian antiques. An amateur renovator like yourself, my expertise can save you both. I will come over tomorrow to show you the roof tiles I found. I also found a good deal of scaffolding. Did he steal the roof stuff? We've received the, and we are very concerned about the high number of incidents. Hmm. Not insurance being like, Insurance being like, we don't want to raise your premium, but it looks like we might have to. Of course they want to raise your premium. Delaying any payments until we can send our own building inspector. Wow. Not the insurance company. Not pa n not the insurance company. Not paying and then, and then sending someone they pay for. to inspect the house. I need to catch up with these. There was a hop train going and I didn't even notice. Saw so who? Uh, well, that's the game that y'all tell me there's was the uh, controversy over. I don't know much about it. Other than what y'all have told me. If I were going to fix a dumb waiter, I guess I would ask a carpenter. Oh. What the hell time is it? Now, is it noon or is it like 12 in the morning? If it were noon. From 3 to 6, Abby's gone. It's a.m. Okay, so it is the morning. So I'm going to go talk to, um, I'm going to go talk to, he should be here. Noon to five. Unless he yells at me again. But if it's noon, then why isn't he in the office? Chat? Is it a week? Is it the weekend? It's 12 a.m. Oh, I thought y'all meant it was like 11 a.m. Well, let me tell you a little story called Nancy's fucking clock. First of all, let me tell you a little story called Nancy's fucking clock doesn't tell me. And then also, on top of that, there there are no windows in any Nancy Drew games that you can see outside. Because they don't want to have to have multiple animations. So you never know what time it is. And also, nothing is my fault. <laughs> and also, nothing is my fault ever. Oh my god. And also, Abby's spying on everybody. Oh my god. I can't fucking deal with whatever that was. I'm going the fuck to bed. I can't fucking deal with whatever the fuck that was. Alright, we're gonna get up at 9. Not a.m. I guess. <laughs> was that the game or me? That was my stomach. Oh, we said hi. We said good morning to ourselves. It's always a good way to start the day. So Abby is out from three to six. So that means she should be home. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. I'm convinced. Why would we say that we're convinced? 
What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. No, what kind of person? It's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, How old is he? doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. Have you seen that poem? poem in my room? Oh, I love that poem. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. How does the rest go? It was there when we bought the place. Do you know much about Louis? It must be great having your own What do you know about Louis Dorian? S? He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. Not I'm a sure melted Barbie doll. Quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. How long have you known Rose? I saw those papers in the parlor. Oh, I clicked Where the wrong one. Them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. Was there anything about the house in them? I don't think so. I really didn't go through them that much. I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Was there anything else in the photograph that was odd? I don't remember anything else. I meant to click the How first option. A couple Can of you years. hear the gears she grinding? She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. This isn't Otherwise, telling me anything. Like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you, and was it about um, your hair? I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Do you think it was a ghost? <laughs> well, it wasn't they're me all animatronic. There. I heard someone crying in the hall. Was it you? And was it a, you crying about your hair and your nails? You mentioned Charlie was suspicious. How so? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour. And suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time watching me. That that I think he's just creepy. I think that just means he's Did the house a creep. Come with a lot of furniture? There were a lot of pieces and knickknacks left behind, like the books in the study, your bed. I think it was too large to take out of the room. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. See you later. Good job with your outfit and stuff. Talk to you later. So that's my door. Or this is my door. That's my door. We were able to zoom in on this vent. Yeah. Oh. You can't click on it. Oh. It's stuck. Not this. Oh, that does look like a screwdriver thingy. Oh my god. These are the tiniest little screws I've ever seen. Oh! <gasps> A speaker! That's those computer speakers everybody had! Oh my god. So that's where the, like, crying is coming from. Don't make me put the, okay, she put the screws back on by herself. Well, that's one fucking mystery solved. We know it's not, I mean, I knew it wasn't actually haunted. Because I don't believe in that stuff. And that supernatural doesn't Hello. happen in Nancy Drew games. Have you heard of someone named Lizzie Applegate? No, I haven't. Wait, could I click anything on that spic on that speaker? Fully 1997 computer speaker. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. No, Tim. <laughs> no, that's Bachel's speaker. Oh, let's talk to Charlie actually. Charlie, I got two hours to talk to you. Hey, Nancy, I see you survived Abby's seance. Man, that Veldez guy sure sounded creepy. He's not the only one who sounded creepy. Uh, I don't remember Dad, seeing you. Were you down here then? I don't remember seeing you. Rose told me all about it. So how are things coming along? Anything I can help you out with? I think that he secretly slipped. Okay, prediction time. I don't think it's this guy, Charlie. I think he's too dumb 
to do it. I'm, so, process of elimination right here. Process of elimination. I'm ready to make... I have... I am ready to make my official prediction. Let me just yawn real quick. All right. So, official prediction. It's not Charlie. Charlie's too dumb. But he was looking for a job because he's sleeping in the mansion. He's sleeping in the grate. You know, over here... I can't point there because I can't get out of here. But then in that fireplace behind him, there's a grate. I think he's sleeping in here or like behind the counter or something because um, he doesn't have anywhere else to live. I don't think it was Rose. They're really rubbing that in hard with the fire insurance shit. And whenever Nancy Drew Game does that, it's never that person. So it's not Rose. It's not Charlie. So we've got Abby and we've got Louie S. Louie S. It's not Abby because her hair's too ugly for her to pull off something like this. And also, it's never the person... Well, actually, it was once the person. In the Nancy Drew 1920s game, it wasn't... That guy did forge the thing or whatever, but it wasn't him who did the overall bad thing. Or something. I don't remember. Anyway, it's not Abby because her hair is too fried. I'm pretty sure it's Louie. It's always because he is doing... I don't know why yet, though. But there's something that he wants. People don't do... Let me tell you a little story. Kids, sit down. Nobody does anything in life for free. Nobody in life does anything for free because he's gay. 1930, excuse me. There's something that Louie S. wants out of this. There's something that Louie S. wants out of this. Oh, that's true. Nancy does do everything for free. But she's rich. Have you met Louis Chandler? Oh, what and yeah, office chairs. <laughs> He's an antique dealer, I, I think. I guess he does consulting work for Rose, like on Victorian furnishings and stuff. Can you tell me more about that? That's my accidents? official prediction. I'd really rather not talk about that right now. I don't even know what I asked him, but it made it un uncomfortable. Have you ever heard of someone named Valdez? I've heard of a Diego Valdez. He was a wealthy rancher who lived in the 1800s. Yeah, I just read a book on him for my history class. What? Is he in college? Is he from San Francisco? No, he was sort of a hermit and never married. But he was extremely generous. He gave away thousands of dollars. Okay, so... I think there's a hidden treasure. I'm pretty... <laughs> Valdez is a super common name! Oh my god! And he's like, oh yeah, it must be this Valdez. Oh my fucking god. I think there's a hidden treasure. I think there's a hidden treasure in this mansion. And I think somebody wants it. There's always a hidden tre... Whenever, there's always a hidden treasure in a mansion. How do you like working for Abby? She's not bad. She can be a little weird. I think she gets on Rose's oh, nerves Valdez sometimes. Valdez in San Francisco. She gets on Rose's nerves. Well, yeah. Who the fuck wouldn't? Whose nerves wouldn't Abby get on? What do you mean? She always does a disappearing act whenever Rose needs her to do some work. And I think Rose is sort of hatty, you know? There's a mess. Wait, what is the message in the mansion? What the hell is the... Yeah, why is there a message in the Haunted Mansion? Abby thinks the house is haunted. Do you? I'm not sure. Let's just say I wouldn't rule it out. But that's Abby's department, not mine. Have you seen the poem in the Chinese room? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. It almost sounds like there's a hidden message in there, you know? What is that small closet in the hallway for? The dumbwaiter. Dumb waiter? It's like a mini elevator. It's broken right now. The elevator is stuck between the two floors and the pulley ropes are cut. I'll let you get back to your renovation. See you around. So what if I jump in the dumbwaiter? Then it would pull it down, I think. I've got an hour to kill. I've got an hour to kill before I can go talk to, uh, what's his name? I should 
wait until he leaves. Oh, okay. I don't know what's stopping Nancy now, quite frankly. She snoops in front of everybody all the time. I don't know why she suddenly has a problem with it. All right, let's go, um... Do you know what? Let's go jump scare ourselves. I bet we can jump scare ourselves. How long is an hour in a Nancy Drew game? Like a minute or so? Oh, wrong door. That clock didn't even have any hands on it. Very suspicious. Now, what exactly was... What am I looking at over here, too? Just this... The game was like, we gotta let them... We put a lot of time into this beautiful lamp. Half the budget went into this lamp. We gotta let them zoom in on it. They said, this lamp, half the budget. Make sure they can zoom in on it. Oh my god, is there really nothing to click... <laughs> You're kidding me. There is a reason for it? Is there anything I can click on over here? Is there a turd in one of the chairs? Something on the table at some point. How much time did that kill? 15 minutes. Oh, I didn't know I could look at these. That's nice. Oh, I do love old pictures. I do love old pictures. I don't understand why they won't let me leave. And why can't I climb up the scaffolding? If they really want help, let me climb up the scaffolding. Well, I guess let's go see if something haunted will happen to me. Any ghosts want to kill me? It's locked. I don't know how we're going to get into this. It's locked. If I were going to fix... Oh. Oh. Okay. There was a ghost. If I were going to fix a dumb waiter. Honey, I'd send it to school. Then it wouldn't be dumb. That's not true. School doesn't always make you smart. So I guess we're going to, um... I got 15 more minutes to kill. <laughs> Good God. Now, if what 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 should I do with this? Hmm. Something to think about, that's for sure. Several things to think about so far. Moss, <laughs> thank you for the bit. Minnow 2 thank you for the chin mines. Spring Smidge, thank you for the gift sub. Chrissy. Oh, I hope, I hope you're doing okay. I'm glad you got to be here. Can we zoom in on these... On the cushions so we can talk about how ugly they are? Now, it's still this fucking cobweb. What if I just go around with this wood scraper and just carve out all of the... The wood. It's so interesting that there's nothing to click. Yeah, I'm glad they ha they implemented an up arrow eventually. Oh, I never saw this desk before. <laughs> no! I'm not calling. Absolutely not. What were my options? Best George? How did I never see this desk? That's so me. Well, I guess all you can do on the desk is click the phone, right? Okay. Oh, call 911. I hate these fake vintage phones. It's not even gonna dial. It's it's like you didn't push enough buttons. 
It's nine one 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 one. Oh, there's a drawer on the left. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number. Oh, interesting. Oh my god, what is this handwriting? <laughs> Dear Hugh. The rumors are true. I bought a Victorian mansion. Okay, Rich. Brag about it. It's queasy. Oh, it's funny you should mention Abby. She's actually the one who decided to go in on this venture with me. We're still in the process of restoring the place. It's a lot of fun, but also a lot of hard work. We're beginning to get a little worried that we'll fall behind schedule if we're not careful. Several accidents. I don't, I don't see how this is any new information. Okay. Surely that killed enough time to go talk to, uh... Oh, what's his name? <laughs> Dear... <laughs> Dear Ned, if you're reading this, I'm rich. Absolutely drenched in money. Head to toe. Flopped left and right. Do I need to leave the room and then go back into it before he... It's noon. It's noon 15. He's late. If he's not in here, I'm going to burn the house down. It says he's here from noon to five. Where is he? Maybe I should go talk to someone. Sometimes he just doesn't. Are you serious? Yeah, it's definitely PM because everybody else is awake. No, he's stuck in traffic. Hello. Oh, God. Do you think Charlie is responsible for these accidents? Abby thinks he is, but I'm not sure. I really trust in him, and I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Um, Lil Moonworm, thank you for the bids. Mayonnaise and instrument, thank you. Z Wick, thank you. Harvey, great to see you. Thank you for the 20 months. Happy Moon Day. <laughs> Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits. We'll ask some questions. Does Charlie live around here? He told me he just moved here from Iowa, but doesn't have a place of his own yet. He oh, I told y'all. He's staying in the house. This is further evidence. Charlie's living in the house. I can see you're busy. He's I'll pooping in the walls. Bye, Nancy. So a Nancy Drew game has to have a hidden treasure. Pooping in the walls. And, um... A few red herrings. S well, yeah, sewers most of the time. Some sort of secret passage, at the least. I'm gonna go talk to Abby again. Hi, Nancy. Oh, never mind. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. See you later. Uh, Prudence Rutherford stand. Gooba and Jetpack. Uh, AJ Brodigam. Ryan, thank y'all so much for the bits. Phlebotanist with the five gift subs. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I've been lagging behind on these. On thanking y'all. So should I just go to bed until he shows up? I'm just gonna sleep till noon. I'm just going to sleep until noon again. Because I just really want to talk to him. Look, I did it right. Um, Nina Lenore, we got first time sub. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Jaisui. Oh, that's French. Jaisui Brie. Oof, rough. Rough French. <laughs> thank you so much for the two months. Mike Viv, thank you for the two months. Uh, Henry. Oh, that's where I got to. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, you haven't missed much. Spookiest Courtney Skybox. Kit Kat Moz, thank y'all so much for that for those bits. Bafferat. We got another first time sub. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. And Maya Soul with the 21 months. If that were years, that'd be legal to drink in the United States of America. But it's months. And so, what is that? A baby? A two-year? Almost two, a two-year-old. I know how months work. Thank you so much, Maya Soul. Yo, I'm just... Here he is. Hello, Nancy. I was wondering whether you knew Do you know an E. Valdez? E. Valdez. E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let you know if I come across it anywhere. I don't trust him because he, he reads all the books in the library. Have you ever heard of the Great Christmas Gold Robbery? Of course, although it never actually occurred. Fictional history, a folk legend, a complete myth. But nonetheless, it's still a fascinating story, even though it isn't true. What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. And it's called Chandler Interiors. It's an antique gallery. In Victorian period. I have clients from all over the world, and if I don't have what they're looking for, I find it. Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. The house has been renovated many times, but several of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this house before 1906. Do you know who uh, Elizabeth was? <laughs> yes, I She was a very popular actress in the late 1800s. She was very generous oh, yeah, and her. all of her money to the Ladies' Protection Society. What's the ladies, the protection? ladies' protection? Oh, are they the ones who put on the play and everyone hates them? Charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. Do you read poetry? Have you seen the poem in my room? Oh, was this one. house once a yes, home? It's just some cheap <laughs> Chinatown souvenir. Oh, do you know what a phoenix? <laughs> Not asking this literary. Do you know what a phoenix do you know is? What a phoenix is? Yes. It's a mythical bird-like creature that builds a Nancy nest is every so patronizing and sets itself on fire to rise forth reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in Have the you area. ever heard in of fact, bread? On the main staircase. Do you know what bread is? Have you ever heard of a bed? Do you think Charlie is doing I don't know. Job? Yeah, this is literally like who is to be a millionaire. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. He's just what Rose and I need. Did Lizzie ever wear Oh, did Lizzie clothing? live here? <laughs> I'm sure she played some roles where she had to dress as a man, but she was quite an elegant woman, quite fashionable for He her time. finds he just he laughed. He finds I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye. The thought of a woman dressing like a man hilarious. And he's in San Francisco. And he's in San Francisco. Yeah, the laugh was weird. Yeah, he really said. Exactly. Drag king. Or just... Or just... Or just clothes aren't gendered. And everyone just wears whatever they want. That part, too. <laughs> we knew... We knew that we knew that before he said it. Hello. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. Um, I'm... Are there any puzzles that I can do right now? Because I haven't... I don't have... Okay, I have a question. How do I fix the dumb waiter? I thought that this... I thought Charlie was going to help me, but I hate... He's dumb. I hate him. Oh, did he leave? No, he's still here. Yeah, but how do I get into the attic? I can't do it yet. I know how to get into the attic. I don't, but I don't know where the key is. And Rose won't listen to me. Yeah, once I run out of conversations, I don't know what to do. Oh, call Bess. Oh, that is hateful that you would tell me to do that. I missed something in my own room. 
Okay, I'll go do that. Jo just don't make me call Bess. Just don't make me call Bess unless I have to. I hate talking to people. Investigate everything closely. Got it. Alright, so this was Smaug. That looks like a lever, but I can't touch it, so... This is a dragon. When the ten daughters are reunited oh. in order. Nancy wanted to read it out loud, sorry. Remember that gay dragon from that other game? Y'all remember that gay dragon? I'm just giving everything a good scrub down. Don't worry about it. I saw these dragons. It didn't look like there's anything to click on them, though. Unless I could just kick the bed. I wish Nancy would just kick the bed. No, that gay dragon in the Nancy Drew game. Blackmore Manor. Exact. Was that Blackmore Manor? Missing something in my own room? Me missing something in a Nancy Drew game? Just doesn't really sound like me, but okay, I guess. But okay, I guess. Can I finally look out a window? I, w I really would love to walk close to these things. Look really closely, huh? Getting colder? Oh, now we're judging me with temperatures, huh? Oh, so now we're judging me with temperatures. Oh. Oh! It's stuck. I found it. That's messed up. That's fucked up. Never mind. I was gonna say something. <laughs> There's a video. Where somebody sits on one of those. It's locked. It's locked. That's why I'm it's using locked. the key. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. So that key doesn't go... No, no, no. What do you mean wrong one? What, what, what else was locked? If this is a key to someone's heart. Different key. That's for something else you haven't found. Use your scraper? I'm not done scraping? I thought I was done scraping. It's locked. Yeah, I've used the scraper. It's locked. I've used the hell out of the scraper. It's locked. It's locked. Yeah, what do you mean scrape the paint it's away? Locked. Yeah, I already scraped it. Yeah, I thought I was done scraping. Scrape the lock away? That's not how locks work. Yeah, y'all are fake news. I can't avoid the phone forever. Fuck. Why does that sound like that? All right, let me make a phone call. Yo, yeah, who the fuck is Emily? <laughs> Hello? 
I think I hit the right number. Now it sounds like my mic from an hour ago. Hello? Hi, Best. It's Nancy. Oh Hi, god, Nancy. this is gonna be George long. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, some strange accidents have delayed. Phone calls the progress the game. Uh oh, well, get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. So tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? No one's even shitting in the walls here. Y'all. This one. Can you guys give me a clue? That, that part. I'm not sure what to do next. We'll be more than happy to help. But it might be more fun to figure out on your own. <laughs> Find a way to get into that secret attic you found. It must contain important clues. Search the whole house for a key, especially the basement. Interesting that they would say the basement. Search the basement the for a key. They said absolutely not. Young, and I don't think he has much experience. Maybe he doesn't charge very much. So he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. <laughs> Bess, is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> Rose is really lucky. This antique dealer... Louis he's Chandler, not cute, though. Out, although he doesn't know very I'm much I'm suspicious about the of them now. History. That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. But wouldn't he know at least something about it if he's some kind of expert on old things? I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff, just not architecture or houses. Interesting. So even they think Louis S. Wait, Louis S. is lying? Abby hosted a seance and contacted the spirit who's haunting the house. Did you actually see the ghost? Yeah, right. I'm sure it was some kind of trick. Abby sounds suspicious. Okay, yeah, I think Abby's up something. to something. She probably knows more about the house than she's admitting. Abby's up to something, but I don't think that she's... I don't think she's clever enough. Sorry, Abby. Sorry to this not real person. I don't think she's clever enough to pull that off. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go search the basement. Oh, don't yell at me like that. And Emily is who? The maid? Well, there's cobwebs everywhere. Should we call her and fire her? Should we fire her? This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? I haven't heard from you in ages. How's Hannah in River Heights? You're not in San oh, Francisco, Oh, Hannah is the you, maid. Emily's a photojournalist. Y'all told me she was the maid. She's not cleaning... The, someone's not cleaning up the cobwebs. Someone's all cleaning up the cobwebs. I sure am. I'm staying with Rose Green, a friend of Hannah's, in a Victorian mansion. Oh, Emily from Ghost Dogs. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. It doesn't My look easy. Gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the dragon. Different of Emily. San Francisco. No, I haven't gotten to check the basement yet because they yelled at me because the man was still there. Well, Nancy yelled at herself. Um. Dragons. Of oh, San dragons! Francisco. There's dragons Bingo. everywhere. What kind of dragons are you researching? Chinese dragons. My Bingo. Would make a great topic for a photo essay. The dragon is a very important symbol in Chinese culture. So it seems. My room is full of Chinese decorations. Oh, sure. Many of the Victorians have rooms with themes, usually colors or cultures. I once spent a night in a Victorian where each room had a bird theme. Don't laugh, but I stayed in the Nuthatch room. Not the Nuthatch room. That beats the turkey room. Oh, let's make a joke. Well, I'm feeling... I guess that beats the turkey I'm feeling room. funny. Are there a lot of Victorian <laughs> here in San Francisco? After the gold rush... San Francisco had a building boom, but most of the great Victorian mansions weren't built until the late 1800s. Nowadays, it's very popular to convert them into bed and breakfasts. Oh my and god. This conversation never ends. Oh yes. 
Many of the early Victorians were destroyed in the fires after the Great Earthquake in 1906. It's often quite difficult to find out about a house's history before that time. Oh dear, am I talking too much? Yeah, I was just, just <laughs> I so thinking that. At times I tend to get carried away a bit. So how are you, Nancy? Why did you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? Can you tell me about the Chinese writing system? This is a history I lesson. Come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. The symbols are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular thing, or an idea, or an action. You find them all over on business cards, takeout cartons, artwork. Oh, let's ask about Louis S. Have you heard of an antique dealer named Louis Chandler? Nope, never heard of him. Very interesting. What about a Valdez? Do you know anything about Valdez? I don't think so. All right, then I'm done. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Keep me posted, okay? Um, Kate Hate 95, thank you so much for the four months, by the way. I appreciate that. Uh, Skybox, thank you for the bits. Leave no pixel unmagnified. That's where I... I... Do they have caller ID? I don't like to just answer the phone. <laughs> Is a wrong number. Don't worry about her. Where am I going? This door? I think this door. Save soon? Does somebody kill me? Is there a murderer? Not that was Bachel. Uh, Cosmic Batty, first time sub. Thank you. I loaded the game. Where am I? Who am I? Shit. Hello, Nancy. I won't keep you any longer. Good day. Where did I reload to in my second chance? Hold on. This will be cut out of the VOD. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're back in the VOD. Actually, and doing very well myself, if you ask me. If someone would ask me how I'm doing, I would say well and fine. Because we it's actually... Good to know it's here. <laughs> the fire extinguisher i really don't explore well do i because the only thing missing was us talking to emily for a brief moment and finding the key and which we have done both now and now i will proceed to click save instead of load as i have done and how i've i have always done properly um can you imagine? There was a scream. There was a moment I screamed. Thank you so much, Kit Moss, for the bits. Guac me up, boy. Thank you so much. Skybox, thank you as well. Um, my goal in life at this moment is I saved correctly. Don't worry about it. I saved correctly. I am will now proceed to talk. Oh, wait. We got to wait till Charlie leaves anyway, don't we? What time's Charlie leave? Five? Oh, he's here for a few more hours. Maybe I'll go take a nap for a little bit. Told me to check where the seance was, which... Hi, Nancy. What's up? I think was behind him. <laughs> I'm glad we fixed the mic problems, just so y'all could hear me screech. Okay, that's actually going to be it for today. I just wanted to make sure that I was not going to have to do all of this and then have nothing left in my soul. But it turns out that things are fine. I'm fine, chat. Thank you so much, because I'm fine. <laughs> Thank you, I'm fine. Next time, uh, join us next time when I will wait until Charlie leaves. I will click now, proceed to click save, and I will now play this music. Please stay tuned, whereas next time, I will be waiting for Charlie to leave and I will be snooping around the basement. Thank you, Prudence Rutherford Stan. I feel like this was a messy stream. I felt a mess today. I appreciate y'all being here and putting up with me. Thank you for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs. Wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are freaking awesome. Well, we made the Tama before the stream. So I'm going to marry them and, and show y'all the results tomorrow. Okay. Love y'all so much. 
I will see y'all tomorrow. We might be playing the new Mario Kart courses. I don't know. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Love y'all so much. See y'all then. Bye.